Quick, what's the dress code in the Oval Office? If you said jacket and tie, you were right until January 20th. But now, not necessarily. President Bush never entered the Oval Office in casual clothes. It was just his way of, uh, of demonstrating his respect for the office. President Obama has declared weekends to be business casual. His style in dress and attitude, very laid back from day one. I was, I, I was taken aback. I mean, it was really jarring to see that picture uh, on the first day. I guess you have to uh, get used to the fact that this president is a little bit more casual, a little looser. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's not a pomp and circumstance kind of guy. President Obama stays up late, spends his early mornings exercising and having breakfast with the family, and gets to the West Wing around 9 a.m. Unlike his predecessor, who was famous as an early riser and... Nine o'clock. Mr. Excitement here is sound asleep. When President Obama gets to the office, he's got a lot more company. His West Wing staff has ballooned more than doubled by some accounts. Former White House advisor Carl Rove says his small former office now houses four people. The new president doesn't always stick to the script at official events either. I, I, I'm saying when it comes to the weather, folks in, uh, in Washington don't seem to uh, be able to handle things. And as in the cocktail party this week for members of Congress, he mixes business with entertaining. Low key is in. There's an element of this is a serious job at a serious time, but being president has a lot of perks and it can be a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm not sure we had that sense in the last eight years. So from dress code to work habits, from entertaining to leisure time, it's clear that there's been a generational shift at the White House. And for now anyway, official Washington is eating it up. Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House.